Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial with Maya. We're gonna focus on contour and highlight and a very and natural makeup look on her eyes. Here's a quick before and after before we start. Starting off with the Instant Light Spray Makeup Base. My always go-to uh, makeup base to give me this extra hydration and beautiful glow on her skin before anything else. Next, I'm gonna start with the foundation in the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation number 25 to make sure that I unify her skin tone and make sure that my canvas is ready for my makeup application. Next, I'm starting with the highlight and this is the concealer in number one. I'm starting from the under eye area and I'm gonna drag it all the way down to her cheeks, the forehead. You can always notice that there is always an outline for my contour and highlight so that it will really make sure blending for me will be so much easier to preserve the shape. So I contour the forehead, the cheekbones to give me this chiseled effect the sides of her chin as well and the lower lip to give it more volume blending is very important i'm going back to my uh, foundation brush to blend the foundations together and also puff them with my blending sponge so i go back and forth with the brush and the beauty blender to make sure that i don't have any harsh lines i blend now the contour of the nose and the lower lip and it's time to set everything using the filter effectless powder in number 0.1 and give a little bit more coverage to the face with the instant blur in number 150 and now it's time to add a little bit more color from the face palette in medium so i added a little bit of bronzer and blush and highlight on the apple of her cheeks eyes will be very easy so i'm gonna choose a very dark brown color to start my application and then i blend it towards the inside with a lighter shade of bronze and I puff it out towards her eyebrow. With a Kohl pencil in brown, I'm gonna mark the out outer corner, sorry, of her eyes and puff it out using the same shade of bronze that I used on her upper lid and make sure that I connect both upper and lower lids together. I'm brushing the eyebrows using the eyebrow gel mascara from Anastasia and just pencil the eyebrows where needed. This time lashes will be individual because I want to give her a very natural effect for her lashes. I don't want something very heavy, so I'm using the individuals from Ardell. And the lips from Samir Fuzami, the matte lip drop in shade Brandy. I draw and I fill the lip color with the same shade. Now it's time to add mascara and this mascara is from Kiko on the upper and the lower lashes together. And basically the look is done. Here's a quick before and after. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll definitely see you in the next one.